What's up, gals and pals? It's your boy Vino, and welcome back to 60 Second Cocktails. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm gonna make three cocktails using my absolute favorite herbal liqueur, green chartreuse, right? Let me give you guys a little bit of info on green chartreuse. This recipe was created by the Cartesian monks back in 1764, and this is a top secret recipe. The only thing we do know is that it is made from 130 different botanicals. So this stuff is incredibly unique and super complex. And another thing too, it is 55% ABV. So it is bold, it is in your face. It's, it's what I like to call a diva spirit because when it's in the cocktail, it wants all of the attention, you know what I'm saying? But if you use it correctly, it really enhances a cocktail in ways that most spirits can't, you know? Anyway, folks, look, that's all I got for you. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some cocktails. So make sure you stick around because we're going to put you down. What's up, guys? Rob here from Rob's Home Bar. Did you know that Green Chartreuse has a little brother, Yellow Chartreuse, and it makes some awesome cocktails? So when you're done with Vino's video here, come over to my channel, check out three awesome cocktails with Yellow Chartreuse. Yeah, well, that's debatable, but also probably true. All right, Vino, back to you. All right, so as you guys heard, my buddy Rob over at Rob's Home Bar is making three cocktails using yellow chartreuse, blah, blah, blah. Look, the superior chartreuse is right here, and that is the green stuff. But if you want to go head over to Rob's channel, I'm going to put a link down in the description. Hey, go ahead and check him out. Rob's a good friend of mine. He's got a great channel, and I, I'm pretty sure whatever he makes is going to be absolutely delicious. But we all know that my cocktails are going to be better because, hey, it's green chartreuse, right? Forget about it. <laughs> anyway, folks, let's go ahead and make my first green chartreuse cocktail, and this one is called an Ultima Palabra. Now, if you don't know what that means, that literally is Spanish for last word. So if you haven't guessed it yet, this is a last word riff, right, folks? Let us look at what is in the sauce. The first thing we're gonna need is three quarters of an ounce of mezcal, all right, folks? So as you can probably guess, this is a little kind of Spanish riff on the last word. Um, so we're gonna be using some mezcal, which is delicious and smoky. So you put that with the green chartreuse. Oof. It's gonna be some good stuff. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is the green chartreuse, right? Three quarters of an ounce of green chartreuse. All right, as with most um, last word riffs, it's gonna be equal parts cocktail. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of maraschino liqueur. All right. So again, three really bold uh, flavors, you know, smoky and herbal and nutty. Now we're gonna add some pineapple juice. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of pineapple juice. And that's gonna add some sweetness, some tartness. Um, so that's gonna also give it a, bit, a little bit of a, you know, a little tropical vibe, I guess. A little, a little more Spanish vibe, right? And add three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, all right? So and that's gonna help balance everything out a little bit. Beautiful, all right. So let's go ahead and put some ice in our shaker. And then we'll shake that for about uh, 10 to 15 seconds. All right, folks, you know the drill. All right, folks, I think we shook that up enough. Let's go ahead and get our glass out. I'm going to be using a Nick and Nora, which I had chilling like a villain. And I'm gonna double strain this into the glass, all right? All right, folks, that is a beauty. Ooh, the nose off of that one is hitting me right in the face already. It smells unbelievable. No need for a garnish, folks. We're gonna drink it like it is. And there is our ultima palabra. All right, so you guys know the drill. I'm gonna put that cocktail to the side and we're gonna try all three of them at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around for that, right? Now the next cocktail we're making is also a riff, but this is a daiquiri riff and it's called a nuclear daiquiri, all right? So let's look at what is in the sauce, right? The first thing we're gonna need is one ounce of an overproof rum. I'm gonna be using Ray and Nephew, Jamaican, all right? So let's do one ounce of that. So obviously it's gonna, it's not, it's gonna have a punch, <laughs> right? The next thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of green chartreuse. Um, so, you know, we're talking some high ABV stuff here. So, uh, you know, hopefully we don't make it through the end of this video here. Um, and next we're gonna be sweetening things up a little bit and adding a little bit of spice to it with uh, a, a quarter ounce, I'm sorry, a quarter ounce of, of, of velvet falernum. Oh boy, I'm not even drunk yet, folks. All right, there you go. 
Hopefully I get the rest of this video past 30 miles out. Right. And last but not least, we're gonna do one ounce of lime juice, all right? Now any cocktail that has these ingredients and is called nuclear, you gotta imagine it's gonna be some pretty potent stuff, right? So let's go ahead and put some ice in our shaker. And uh, we're gonna shake, ooh, man, the smell off of that one. Oof, this, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> let's shake that up for 10 to 15 seconds. All right, folks, so I think we shook that up enough. I'm gonna go ahead and get my glass out. I'm gonna be serving this in a coupe, which I had chilling like a villain. And uh, let's double strain this into the glass. All right, folks, I think we got all we're gonna get out of the shaker. All right, put this over to the side. And then we're just gonna garnish that with a little dehydrated lime wheel right on top. And there we have our nuclear daiquiri. All right, folks, so the last cocktail I'm gonna be making is called Love and Murder. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I was a little bit hesitant to make this cocktail. I have not tried it yet. It intrigues me, but it also, I have some doubts about it because it does look a little, like it might be a little unbalanced, but we're gonna find out right now. So let's go ahead and look at what is in the sauce. All right, folks, now, the first thing we're gonna need is one ounce of Campari, all right? Now, this is part of why it intrigued me. Campari and green chartreuse are both very polarizing, bold spirits. Like I said, they're diva spirits. They want all the attention. So I'm really interested to see how these work together, right, folks? So I'm gonna do one ounce of Campari. Right? So you're gonna have some real bitter elements, you're gonna have some real herbal elements, you know, this is gonna be interesting stuff, right? And then one ounce of green chartreuse. All right, there you go. Then we're gonna follow that up with one ounce of lime juice. And then we're gonna follow that with three quarters an ounce of simple syrup. This is where I'm a little concerned because these are liqueurs, um, you know, it's high BV, but low, low, uh, still, you know, little cores are sweet. So, I'm, you know, I'm hoping this is not gonna be too sweet a cocktail. I didn't wanna adjust anything until I tasted it. So we're gonna just go ahead with the original specs, right? The one thing they are doing is they're adding uh, four drops of saline solution. So this should help brighten the cocktail up a little bit, right? One, two, that's probably two. Oh, look at that bubble. Look, look, it won't pop. Whoop. All right, let's <laughs> All right, shot again. Two, three, come on. Four, wait, it's making like a bubble, hold on, four, there we go, four. All right, that was anticlimactic, all right. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and put some ice in our shaker. And shake that up for about 10 to 15 seconds. All right, folks, I think I gave that a nice, healthy shake. Let's go ahead and get our glass out. We're gonna be uh, serving this into a coupe as well. All right, we should have chilling like a villain. Let's go ahead and pour our drink in. All right, there we go, folks, beautiful. And this one also did not call for a garnish, so we're just gonna serve it like this. And there we have it, folks, our love and murder. All right, well, there it is, my three green chartreuse cocktails. And I gotta tell you, ladies and gentlemen, today I was not the smoothest bartender today. I was stumbling my words. I was messing up the whole saline drop thing. But in my defense, let's just say these are not my first three cocktails of the day. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and give these bad boys a sippy sip. Well, we're gonna start with the last word riff, which is literally ultima palabra, all right? Cheers. What is there to say? I mean, honestly, last word riffs are fantastic. The last word is fantastic, and this one is fantastic. I can't think of another word, because this is exactly what it is. Super delicious, really smooth, really balanced, probably a little bit sweeter than most last riff cocktails because of the pineapple juice, but not in a bad way. Uh, I think it's probably more approachable of anything. But that smokiness and the pineapple flavor is so good together. You get that herbaliness on the back end. Oh, this is so good. This is fantastic, guys. Absolutely delicious. The drinking game, how many times does Vino say fantastic? Fantastic. <laughs>
All right, so the next cocktail we're gonna try is called the Nuclear Daiquiri. I'm a little freaked out about that because any cocktail is called Nuclear Daiquiri. It's gotta be big, bold. Uses Rain Nephew, Green Chartreuse. Oof. Give it a sippy sip. I mean, you get that Jamaican funk, boy. Oof. Oh. That is delicious. That is so good. If you like Jamaican rum, if you like that Rain Nephew funk, uh, you're gonna dig this one a lot. It's got beautiful herbal notes on the very back end of the palate, but it's Jamaican rum up front. Really good. Oh, this is so delicious. Mm. Oh yeah. Well, it's strong guys, it's strong, but in a very kind of like approachable way, if that makes any sense, you know? And it's not until you have that first sip and all of a sudden you kind of feel the heat going through your body, but on the, on the very beginning of the palate, it's super smooth, super great. Fantastic. <laughs> all right, uh, so now the next cocktail is one, like I said, I was a little, my, my curiosity hopefully won't kill the cat. You know what I mean? I love that it uses Campari and Green Chartreuse, which are two very bold, very polarizing liqueurs. I hope they work together. And also there's some simple syrup in here, which I, might be a little high, but let's find out. Let's see. Let's see if Vino's right. Cheers. Yeah. All right. Too sweet, first of all. Um, I, I want to play with this, and I'm going to probably do it, and maybe on Instagram, I'll, so I'll tell you guys what I come up with, because I like the Campari and the green chartreuse together. It actually tastes really good together. I, the sweetness is the problem. Uh, the saline solution is, is helping a little bit by brightening up the flavors of it, but it's, it's, it's not enough to offset any of the, I mean, it's only four drops, but the sweetness from the, the simple syrup is much. So I, I would scale back. I would even try this without any simple syrup. I'm gonna play for a little bit. This has potential. It's got some great flavors. Let me try this out again. It's got some really good flavors. It needs another modifier. It needs something in there. Uh, it's not simple syrup, but this is a, a, a very interesting cocktail and one that I do want to play with, right, folks? So would I recommend making it? I wouldn't actually. Um, Unless you want to play with it, unless you guys at home want to try it, play with it, mess with it, and then let me know in the comments, let me know on Instagram or Facebook, whatever, what you guys did to maybe kind of help balance it a little bit because it is a very sweet cocktail in my personal opinion, all right? So anyway, folks, there we have it. Three green chartreuse cocktails. Two of them are bangers. Um, you're going to absolutely love these two cocktails. Again, this one for me is more of an experimental thing. I'd love to see what you guys come up with if you do try to kind of modify and mess with it and see what you come up with, all right? But I will try to mess with it and share that with you guys on the gram, all right? Anyway, that's it, folks. That's all I got for you today. Make sure you go ahead and check out Rob's video. I put a link down in the description and I'm gonna put one right up here um, so you guys can see what he makes with some yellow chartreuse. And I'm sure they'll be absolutely Fantastic! Woohoo! <laughs> Who's drunk? Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. Make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you share, you subscribe. Remember, sharing is caring. And when life gives you lemons, you make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.